All right, day two of Dreamville Festival is in full swing in Raleigh thanks to a Grammy-nominated North Carolina native. Tens of thousands of fans have converged on Dorothea Dix Park to experience what's called the brainchild of artist J. Cole. CBS 17's Gilat Malamed is covering the event live. And Gilat, this is more than a concert. It's also a big boost for business here. Yeah, and you know, today is already in full force. A ton of people are starting to come into Dreamville Fest. But when they're not here, this guide that we picked up at the VIP entrance actually lists some local restaurants and bars that they can go to. In 2019, there was $3.7 million in visitor spending from Dreamville. Now, we were out on Davie Street earlier, and we saw some people walking around with their Dreamville wristbands. Crank Arm Brewing Company tells me it hasn't seen much of an increase in business from the festival, but things have been picking up a little bit more today. Brian Rodas is in town for four days from Pennsylvania, stopping at local restaurants when he's not here at Dreamville. Checking out the local restaurants. Uh, we just went to the Videri Chocolate Factory. They said that's one of the best places to, to eat some chocolate. So we're just checking out the scene. An estimated 40,000 people will be at Dreamville per day. Tonight at 11, we'll show you more of what's been happening here on the final day of the festival, as well as what some other businesses have to say about what this has done for their business. Live in Raleigh, Gilat Malamed, CBS 17 News. All right, and they have a perfect day for it. Yes, 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 yes. All right.